Hello everybody, my name is Brad Mason. I'm the Pioneer Field Agronomist in Western Illinois. Since most of us are unable to plant, the weather's still not breaking, and some of us are in quarantine, I want to take a quick second and talk about early planted soybeans. This field that I'm standing in was planted March 6th. I know what you're saying, that is extremely early for this area. This field is, is roughly in the Galesburg, Illinois area. I know that is very out of character for our area, but we've been saying plant early, and this may be pushing the envelope a little too early, but it's still interesting to see what results we may find. One of the things that I like to do when soybeans are planted and planted early specifically is go check the viability of those seeds. The easiest way to do so is to go dig a trench. Go follow behind that planter. Uh, you know, it's been a couple weeks now and, and see if those beans are still gonna make it. So I dug a trench here and what I do is I look at the seeds and just check to make sure they're still all intact. And then the simplest test is to pick them up and squeeze them. When I squeeze them, what I'm doing is I'm checking to make sure that there's no mush basically that is rotted. The other test is a sniff test. Once you squeeze it, sniff it. If it smells rotted, most likely it's not gonna make it. That's the easiest way to check those. The interesting thing about this field is that so far I've only found a couple seeds that were rotted and most of those were lying close to the top of the ground. When planting soybeans early, we, we suggest that you plant a little deeper than you normally would. This field was planted right around two and a half to three inches. And the reason we say that is because as we go through volatile temperatures, when this field was planted, it was 60 plus degrees. Right now I'm standing here and it's 40 degrees. A lot of things can change and the deeper we plant those beans, the less volatile environment those beans will go through. It takes a long time for that four inch temperature or three inch temperature to really start to fluctuate. The higher we are up, the easier it is for that soil temperature to fluctuate. Another thing that I want to talk about is these beans have gone through a lot. This field has gotten roughly 3.8, 3.75 inches of rain since planting. This is March 24th that I'm standing here. It's also had two snow events. It's very interesting to see that most of these beans look like they're going to make it. It doesn't mean they're going to make it out to emergence because we still have a long way to go. How far do we have to go? Most people say 90 to 100 growing degree units is what we need for those soybeans to emerge. We're sitting at 27 as of this morning. So we have a long way to go. We have some warm temperatures coming. One of the benefits we had for these soybeans is that we, we really talk about that first drink of water needs to be warmer. These, this field, like I said, was planted on the 6th. We had the 7th of warm weather. We had the 8th of warm weather, and then we got some rain and that water was actually warm. We were talking 50 degrees and up when that rain fell. So we helped these soybeans realistically go into cold storage. We got them that first drink of water and now they're sitting there just swollen, just waiting for that weather to really break so they can start to grow. We'll continue to watch this field through the growing season and thanks for watching. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.